please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. We just had phase two of the NHL draft lottery where it was determined who was going to get the number one overall pick in 2020. Where was Alexi Lafreniere going? The answer, the New York Rangers. That's right, the Rangers come out and win the draft lottery part two here, get the number one overall pick. And boy, the Rangers had an extremely bright future to begin with. Never mind now where you add Alexi Lafreniere on top of it. Absolutely incredible. Um, you know, obviously there's been huge reaction already on social media and fans of the other teams obviously not happy. But at the end of the day, I think the Rangers is obviously a great landing spot for Lafreniere, for the league, for him. We're an up-and-coming young team. He just adds to that, a team that is on the rise, coming out of a rebuild. Now they get a number one selection out of it. Lafreniere, I think, is going to be an absolute stud in the NHL. Um, he's certainly built for it. He's got the body. He's got the puck control. He's got the shot. He's got the passing. I mean, he's got everything that you could look for in a future star player. Um, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Obviously, fans of other teams are not happy, especially teams um, that, that, you know, were really looking to get Lafreniere and could really have used the help. But we knew he was going to a team that lost in the qualifying round. I'm really, really glad that he did not go to Pittsburgh or Edmonton, who's had a million first round picks or first overall picks in the last 10 years. Uh, didn't go to the Leafs, thank God. The last thing they needed was another star forward. Um, I think the Rangers are a good spot for him, and that was a good team. I mean, they yes, the Rangers impressed a lot of people this year, but at the end of the day, they were still an 11 seed. They were. Ne it's not like he's going to a team that was a five or six seed in the uh, in the qualifiers this year he was he's still going to a team that was a low seed that barely made it into these playoffs um the only other places i think that really really could have used him a lot more um were certainly minnesota i think of all the all the teams in the running from the qualifying round i think minnesota was the team that could have used him the most um they obviously did not get him but he would have really helped a lot in minnesota I think Florida definitely could have used him. That just adding to that forward depth. Obviously, they've got Huberdeau and Barkov, but Dadanov's a free agent. Hoffman's a free agent. They really could have used a young guy coming in like that, um, especially since they're probably losing at least one of those goal scorers out of their lineup in the offseason. Um, and I think even Nashville a little bit. Nashville's a team that struggled offensively. Obviously, Philip Forsberg is their number one left wing. But having uh, having Lafreniere on in that Nashville lineup on the second line really, really, I think could have could have uh, been a huge, huge move for them. Um, but other than that, those are probably three teams I think that could have used him a little bit more um, than 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 uh, the Rangers. But other than that, um, I think the Rangers are a good landing spot for him. Um, it was not rigged. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that. If it was rigged, he would have been going to the Leafs. If it was rigged, he would have been going to the Penguins. He's not. He's not going to the Penguins. He's not going to the Maple Leafs. He's not going to the Oilers to play with McDavid. He's going to the New York Rangers, a team that he will make better and already have an extremely bright future, but are just coming out of a rebuild. Now they get a little bit more... Um, a little bit more push out of that rebuild heading into next season with the number one overall pick in their lineup. Um, and, um, you know, obviously New York is a massive market. He's going to, I think, be a superstar there. Um, he gets to learn from Artemi Panarin and play, you know, on a line below Artemi Panarin. I think that's going to be absolutely, uh, absolutely huge for him and his growth and development. Going to obviously have Zabinijad on the team as well. And then all that other young talent they have coming up. Um, it's going to be absolutely insane to to see what the New York Rangers look like in a couple years from now. But uh, that's pretty much it. That Those are my thoughts. Lafreniere going to the New York Rangers in all likelihood. He is the consensus number one pick. Obviously, they still have to select him, but he's going one overall. The Rangers are not going to go off the board with that pick and not take Laffy. So... Um, obviously huge, huge uh, news there from phase two of the draft lottery. And again, the Rangers, I think were a good team to get him, a good spot for him, a good spot for the league. And, uh, 
just thank God he didn't go to one of those top teams like Pittsburgh or Edmonton or Toronto because that would have been that that would have been you know a, a a shit show to say the least on social media and and everything had he gone to a team that already has you know someone like Crosby and Malkin and Pittsburgh already have Tavares and Matthews and Marner and Nylander in Toronto already have McDavid and Drysaddle in Edmonton those were teams that did not they, they did not even need to be in the running for him it obviously turned out because they lost in the in the qualifying round that they were but those were teams that did not even need to be in the running for him teams like New York Minnesota Nashville, uh, Florida, those are teams that definitely needed. Um, even like Montreal and Chicago could have definitely used Lafreniere, but they decided to actually go out and win in the qualifying round and weren't in the running. But those were teams that needed him as well. But of the, t- you know, of the teams in the in this lottery, in this part two of the lottery, I think the Rangers were a solid team for him to go to, and it's going to work out hopefully very well for both him, the team, and the league. So. Um, That pretty much does it for this. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. Um, If you'd like to further support the channel, donation link, merch store, and uh, Patreon are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.